What is up ladies and gentlemen, my name is King's Reaper and welcome back to another episode of our playthrough. Now in the last episode I did manage to complete the quest with the scavs on shoreline but unfortunately my dumbass forgot to turn it in. So that's the first thing we're gonna do right now. So I'm gonna go to my dear old friend Mr. Prapor and give him his scav kills. Now unfortunately for the Punisher part 2 I needed to get level 18. So, what's the plan? What's the deal? Well, the deal is we're gonna go back to the same old, same old customs, get some kills, kill some scavs, get some loot, get that level 18 so we can proceed with the Punisher quest. So the first raid we spawned in the industrial area, I looted up for some stuff and went out just to check if somebody's gonna push from the other side. but they pushed from this side. So I waited him out. Yeah, <laughs> boy. Don't mess with the best, boy. Don't mess with the best. So yeah, this was kind of a lucky starter kills, I would say, because I didn't expect those two guys to push from all the way from the old gas station but anyways I already had like canister of fuel and I had to heal up quickly to get better just not to get one shot by somebody else organize my inventory a little bit just before I loot these two juicy bodies although they didn't look that geared so let's see what his friend had and yeah, as I expected, it was an Aider, and the shame was that his Aider was loaded with some crappy M55 ammo. So after looting that, guys, I pretty much went all around the map, looted some stashes and successfully extracted, but that was not enough to get the level. So I went into a couple of other raids, looking just to get that level up as soon as possible. So the next raid I went once again into customs and pretty much we spawned in the dead corner of the map. And I wanted to loot those jackets, maybe I would find a good key. And there was somebody already running next to me. So I had to wait him out. Bah, bitch. So, he had a decent gun. Not as good ammo for it, though, but anyways, we got what we could. Looted those jackets, looted his body. Checked out what I could find on this side of the map. And just as I was crossing the road... Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Would you look at that? Somebody was also trying to cross the road. But they were unaware of my presence, so I quickly ran across and decided to camp a little bit in this bush. And there they were, right in front of me. Two of them. Hmm. And there was somebody else shooting from the hill. What a little bitch, he's, he's using like a silent sniper and shooting from a hill. What kind of a fucking rat are you, man? You're such a chicken. You're a such a... Come out, come out in the open so I can see you. Yeah. I thought so, I thought so. You're a chicken, you ain't gonna come out, right? Yeah, chicken. Well... All I could do now is just wait, be patient, give that dude some time. Maybe he would come out, maybe he, he would go for that loot. I don't know, I was kind of afraid to push, to move too much, because he could spot me easily from that hill. And if he's sitting in some kind of a bush up there, I would most definitely not see him. So, my only option was pretty much to sit here and wait for him to make a move, to go... 
on my flank or to push those bodies because at this point I pretty much presumed that he already killed the other guy, that he killed his partner. But to my surprise, which we will find out very soon, he didn't. But I had to wait him out. I couldn't move much because I was pretty much exposed. I was in the open, there was no cover for me, so... And yeah, there was another person shooting right over there. So I started looking. Did you see him? Because now I did. Of course I'm gonna shoot the rock. So after eliminating him, I thought, okay, so now I need to wait out the dude that's sitting on the hill sniping. Although, why didn't he kill him? He could have seen him easily. Eh, yeah, somebody walked around the corner. Hmm, love it. One tap and bye-bye. And just as I thought things were over, they started heating up again. So where the fuck is that scab shooting from? It's like, he can't even see me from the bush, but he's shooting. Right. Logic. And there was somebody else there. Since I was hurt, I had only one option. Bail out. So I started to flank around, go back towards the boat. And by the time I got to those bodies of the players I killed, they were already looted. So I looted some stashes along my way out. Got a decent amount of experience. Success. Success. Sexyfully extracted. Because, you know, I'm so sexyful. Yeah, so... Pretty much I made some deals on the flea market and soon enough I was level 18, so it was time to get that quest. Oh yes, the Punisher level 2. There you go, your masks. That's why I was keeping all those masks. Now that I gave them in, I could sell rest of them and get ready for the next raid where we needed to kill some more scavs on shoreline, but only this time using any suppressed weapon. So after loading in, I went immediately to the gas station to visit my friend's scabs. And as you can see, some of them are really stubborn and refuse to die. And there was somebody else moving across. Was it a player? Is it a scav? Why is he sprinting? Oh, it's a scav. So after eliminating those three scavs, I quickly moved up to the um, hydro dam, only to hear some people shooting in the woods above me. And there they were. Wrong moment to stand still. So after shooting that guy, I unfortunately I couldn't find the other one. And I looked for his body for a very long time since I made some moves, pushed a bit, bit into the woods. But finally I found his body laying next to the tree. And to my disappointment he wasn't that geared. But he had some good ammo for that Mosin. So I picked up all that I could from him and wanted and decided it was time to push towards the shoreline back from the other side to check for some more scavs. That was one. And that's another one. So yeah, I went on 
and extract it because I was not interested in their loot. I was more interested into getting those kills for scavs as soon as possible. So after successful extraction, I had to organize my inventory once again because I'm very low on my inventory space. I'm keeping those SVDs for the quest that's gonna be coming up as well soon. So I loaded into yet another raid on Shoreline and just as, as I loaded in I heard some shooting upon the exit. So this extract was already filled with action. And that dude decided to move exactly as I started to shoot. And of course he attracted some more people. But this is very weird. So first of all, no hit registries, and then you hear the guy shooting at me, full clip, and I'm not dying. And then all of a sudden, I'm dead without taking any smaller damage, it's just like, you're dead. So yeah, I'm calling it a lag switching, because uh, I don't know how else to explain it. Anyways, I had to grab another silenced weapon and go into another raid, so I picked up the AKM that I had from before, from the, our previous quest, and went once again into shoreline. This time we spawned on the northern side of the map and I started pushing towards the west till I found this wandering scav. Easy kill on that scav and just as I start pushing down the valley somebody found me and I couldn't tell where they were shooting from. So the only thing I can do at these situations is run like a chicken, find a bush to hide and wait to see if they're gonna push. And they're still shooting at me. And that was one dude down, but his friend was pushing me hard. So I had to fall back and wait him out. Two solid shots, but still that's not enough to kill him. That's definitely not enough to kill him. So what do you do in these situations? You play like a rat. You go to the slowest walking speed possible, you go crouch, and you move very, very slowly and silently so that your opponent doesn't know that you're flanking or any general idea of where you are moving towards. And in this situation, I went to his friend's body because I knew that he would eventually start pushing back towards the body just to see if I'm looting it. And, oh! Look, there's a bush right next to his body. So what do you do? Well, I just told you what you do. You get in the bush and you wait. You wait patiently, you move slowly, silently, so they don't hear you. And eventually, he starts moving. Your and there goes his friend as well and boy was I happy like I had no clue where they were coming from but they were quite geared they had a Vapor Hunter um, customized Mosin better backpack than I did they had they already killed somebody before they tried to kill me so I was very very glad to relieve them of their gear but I had to reload my weapon as well now let's see what his friend had Ooh, another decent gun nice and they already looted some stashes and houses so you know what I would gladly take that gear as well and this guy was pretty much loaded with um, PS ammo, I believe, so 
I took I took everything that I could and I simply went for the extract extract because my inventory was already full. So after successfully completing yet another raid, I head on into another one on shoreline because I really want that container because man that's gonna be a game changer. So this raid I spawned on the western side of the map and decided to push towards the shoreline immediately. And just as I came here, somebody was already fighting with scavs. And I'm not sure, was he pushing for the exit or what? But he moved at the perfect moment to ditch that headshot. This gun kicks so much. Anyway, after managing to kill him somehow, I went on, looted everything he had and he had so much stuff. So after getting all that gear, I went on to proceed on the shoreline path to the old gas station because that's where I heard M700 sniper shots. And I was already sneaking because I heard guy move. Unfortunately I missed his head. Exactly. I have uh, no clue how the hell did I kill this guy. But who cares? I killed him, I got to take his gun, which is quite decent if you equip it a little bit, with decent optics, and unfortunately somebody else invaded and crashed my party. And by the moment I noticed him, he noticed me as well. But the ridiculous part is, the way I died, or what the game said how I died was, getting shot in my ear while the guy was facing my back. Interesting, so the bullets obviously turn into your ear when you get shot from the back. Mmm, perfect, love it, love it. This game sometimes just... It, it doesn't stop to amaze me. Anyway, back to the shoreline once again. So after spawning in the village, I went immediately for the gas station and for the dam just to kill the sniper scav. And someone was, was already trying to kill him but I was a bit faster and there they were across the river but they had no clue I was here. So what I decided to do is to push again on the small hill next to the dam but what I didn't expect is that there's gonna be somebody else already here. And that dude refuses to die. I mean, he took four BP bullets and he doesn't go down? Oh, thank lord, fifth took him out. Let's see what he had. Mmm, brilliant. No armor whatsoever, or yeah, some shitty armor. Anyways, those guys were still shooting across and I was so badly wounded I knew I didn't have much time left because that guy took out my stomach and I didn't have surgical kits. So what I did is went up on the hill just to wait out those guys to pass. And look at this idiot. It's like he didn't even hear us fighting here. Like, no, nobody was shooting there. Hmm, brilliant idea. Loot in the open after you heard somebody shooting next to you. That's that's really smart. Keep keep at it, dude. Keep at it. And there is his friend as well. Hmm. Line my shot. And yeah, of course. He stops moving exactly when I had my shot lined up with his movement. Unfortunately he didn't come back and I had to push for the exit quick because I was badly wounded and I was dying. So this was my second die effect already. Well of course the camping scav is gonna be at the exit. 
right when I don't need him to be there. Yes, Fuck you. Well, that was a successful su su uh, extraction once again. And this time I decided to go once again onto shoreline since my games were just filled with PvP right now and I couldn't get enough scavs. So I had to load in again and unfortunately this raid, this happened. The game froze completely. And by the time I got back in, I forgot to press record again because the Nvidia doesn't keep recording if you close the game. So yeah, you don't get to see unfortunately how that raid ended, but I managed to kill one scav and complete the quest that we are pursuing. So, this is gonna be it for this episode guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, hit that uh, notifications button and hit my mom.